In this video, we are going to see how we can actually create flowcharts. These are some points that you must keep in mind while creating a flowchart. Flowchart can have only one start and one stop symbol. On-page connectors are referenced using numbers and off-page connectors are referenced using alphabets. We'll see in our example how we are using numbers if we have two parts of the algorithm on the same page. General flow of processes is top to bottom or left to right. Top to bottom is the flow. You should not draw a flow chart starting from the bottom of the page and going up. Arrows should never ever cross each other. Why? Because once they cross like this, then someone who has not created the flow chart will not know where which arrow is going. Let's take an example. Here is the flow chart for going to market to purchase a pen. In our previous video, we had written an algorithm for creating this flow chart. So you can see here, start, get dressed. Do you have money in your wallet? Yes, go to the shop. No, put money in the wallet, go to the shop. After that, my page has finished in length, but the width is still available. So what I'll do? I will add a on page connector. One is written here and then one is written here. That means it is continuing. And then I'll make the complete flowchart till the pen is bought and end of the flowchart is reached. Let's take another mathematical example. Simple calculating the average of two numbers. Start, take input. You can see a rhombus here. Average is equal to num1 plus num2 by 2. Num1 and num2 are the two numbers. I am doing a calculation so I am using a rectangle. Print average output for input and output parallelograms have to be used then I end the flowchart. So we have seen how we can create simple flowcharts for our problems. Once the flowchart is done the next step is usually coding because we have an algorithm we have a flowchart. The next step is always the coding. So now we will see how we should write a good program. The first step in writing a good program is writing clear instructions which we are going to cover in our next video.